And the jury continues to look into this case, continues their deliberations, even at this late hour. Throughout the afternoon and the evening, they've asked the court to see uh, key pieces of evidence, text messages between the victim and the suspect, and also uh, pictures and video of the crime scene. And even at 5.30 tonight, they sent a note to the judge saying, we're at a standstill. Also writing, we have not made any further progress since we started. That happened at 5.30, but here we are, 9 o'clock. They're still deliberating because they ordered dinner and continued at it. Here's the case that we're talking about. A 30-year-old Amazon warehouse worker, Anthony Maggio, is on trial for the deaths of two people. His former girlfriend, Ashton Eaton, who's the 32-year-old mother of his daughter, Hazel Bryant, who prosecutors say he also killed. She was only 14 months old. Prosecutors say he strangled Eaton and smothered his child. The murder trial began October 1st, just one day before the four-year anniversary of the gruesome murders that happened in the victim's Lockport apartment. Prosecutor say Maggio tried to make Eaton's murder look like a suicide. He was arrested two years after the killings and has been in custody ever since. The victim's family says they did not expect deliberations to go well into the night like this. We've been at the courthouse, the Will County Courthouse, pretty much since 9 o'clock this morning. The jury has been deliberating since maybe around 12.30. Um, they keep asking for more pieces of evidence. So we're just praying that we get the verdict we're looking for so we can get justice for my niece Ashton Eaton and her daughter Hazel. The judge does not appear to want to stop the jury from their deliberations. And in fact, the defendant's attorney has said out loud in the courtroom that he fully supports the jury going as long as they need to tonight until they reach their decision. Reporting live from Juliet Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago.